First big garden on the farm is doing all right. First time we've ever done some raised beds. And honestly, even in our in-ground beds over here, and excuse all the stuff, there is crap everywhere from us working out here. This is our first successful in-ground bed. Like, I've never seen a plant in anything that we have grown get this large. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy about it. It's freaking awesome. And I'm happy it's going well with this garden out here, but I want some strawberries in the ground. So we looked for strawberries. We forgot to get some seedlings started or anything like that. And we've been looking for starters everywhere and haven't been able to find any. So we're like a month behind on getting any kind of strawberries in the ground and we didn't think we were gonna to get to. But I happened to come across some in a tractor supply that I was in yesterday. So we're gonna quickly throw together another raised bed um, just because I don't have any more in-ground space prepared for planting anything. So we're gonna make a quick little scrap wood raised bed and we're gonna get those strawberries in the ground. All right, so since this is last minute and on the spot, I decided to just use some old twisted up two by sixes that we had in our barn. Um, so cut them down to about three foot by six foot because all the boards that I had were six foot long So I felt like making three foot by six foot raised beds similar to the other ones was perfect um, Then we decided to mow down the weeds as much as possible the grass and weeds there um, So that once I get this together then I can lay down the feed bags and it will help block out all the grass and weeds from coming through once I backfill it. And what we're backfilling with is horse manure, chick manure, uh, wood shaving, straw, and other stuff we've been composting over the last year or so. And just trying to fill it up to the top and get ready to plant for the strawberries. Why are you making another garden? Because this is what I'm going to plant our strawberries in. All right, so we have our bed prepared at this point. Me and Pip are gonna get some strawberry plants in here. Now, these are just like some Bonnie strawberry plants that we found at Tractor Supply. Um, I would definitely like to add more variety, but this is all I could find, so this is what we're gonna get planted. Um, so what I plan on doing, even though this is way more space than what these would need um, necessarily, is that I have them zigzag through this. This is about a three foot by just over six foot bed. Um, and I have them spaced out so that the stretchers can like possibly try to make us more strawberry plants. So that's my goal with this. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we're going to go ahead and dig these in and put in a little bit of raised bed soil. This is just some organic raised bed soil um, that we'll put in the hole with the plant. We'll get them in there and then we'll water them and be done with this. So dig a hole right here about the size of the cup, right in there. All right, keep digging down, baby. Right here, let me cut it for you. Let me cut a hole. So make this perfect circle. Knock that out of there. I keep getting the dirt that's all in there. There you go. Is this enough digging? All right, you see, when we take these out of the cups, you gotta loosen it up a little bit. Because it gets all packed in there and you want these roots to be able to breathe. You want these roots to be able to spread out when they put them in the hole. So you gotta make the hole real big so that there's plenty of room. For all these roots. How many weeds are there? Uh, there's no weeds in here right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Those are this organic soil. Organic. You want to get some out of this bag? Yeah. Put it in the hole. Go ahead and throw it in there. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do from here, um, from what I've seen, this is going to be, I've only planted one strawberry plant before and it did not survive. And I guarantee, I don't remember what I did, but I guarantee I buried it too deep. So one of the main things with strawberries is to make sure that you leave the stalk out. Um, I forgot what they called it. It's not a stalk, but something. You know, the crown, that's what it is. You wanna make sure that you leave plenty of room for the crown above the soil. You only just need those loose roots and stuff up under there, and then everything should be squared away and good to go. Little by little. There you go. What good job, buddy. Is it okay if you pat it down by your garden? Yeah, it's okay if you pat it down. It's not going to hurt it. Okay. Put, a little, put a little in the hole. Oh, you're going you're gonna to do it with the fist. All right. Good job. Nice work, buddy. Something else with strawberries that I've been looking into quite a bit. I've just been researching a lot on strawberries because I am rather new to this. Is that apparently their roots really like to be agitated. So... Don't be too worried if it feels like you're being rough with the strawberries. Um, it should be okay. At least that's what I've read and seen in videos. 
um, but they like to be agitated. They like oxygen. So when you're getting them out of the cup, breaking up those roots, don't stress it too much if it feels like you are being rough with it. Last thing to do is get a little bit of water on these freshly planted strawberries just so that they have something to work with here after you just agitated the crap out of them transplanting them um, but other than that we're pretty much done with getting the strawberries in and like i said this is just one variety i would like to and would have liked to get multiple varieties of strawberries in here specifically for the sake that i'd like to have strawberries to pick all through the season but this is our first set of strawberries and this is what we got to work with and hopefully this will get us started and getting some fruit growing because later on in the season I'm gonna get my first established blueberry plants in the ground and stuff as well because I would like to really make fruit a major part of what we grow on our farm um, so this is the start of the strawberries this is mainly just practice for me overall um, and we'll see how this goes and hopefully we'll have this whole thing covered in strawberries um, once these things get up and moving um, and really get growing but that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel because we would love to continue showing you what we're doing on our farm as we continue learning how to do this stuff, getting into it, and figuring out if we can even pull this off. Have a good one.